Okay, so it is a sad day on the channel today because I have decided to sell my beloved XS20. I've had this camera for around six months now and I've loved every minute I've had with it. Just look at my channel, I've made enough videos explaining why this camera is so good. However, I have decided to sell it and here's why. So before we jump into the video, I want to let you know about these two royalty free tracks that you can download absolutely free. All you have to do is head over to my website and download the tracks. I get asked all the time, where do I get my music from? And having been a musician for years, I use a lot of my own. And so over the past few months, I've started to collect and curate an album, which has turned into two albums. One is called Folksy and one is called Cine Sounds. Both of these albums are now available to download on my website. All we have to do is pay a one-off purchase and you can use all these tracks royalty free on any of your work. You'll get no copyright strikes, none of that jazz. You can listen to them all on my website, just click on the link here. But if you just want the two free tracks, download them now and you can use them on any of your work completely copyright free. Anyway, let's get back into the video and talk to you about why I'm selling the XS20. Real quick, let's just go through the specs of this camera if you're unaware of what is under the hood of this thing. So one of the highlights of this camera is that you can shoot in 6.2K open gate, just like the X-H2S. And for this price range, I really don't think there's too many other cameras that can shoot in that higher resolution. It comes with three new interesting features. It has vlog mode, which makes it so easy to just get going. It has the product priority mode. So if you are a YouTuber, content creator, and you're displaying products that you have on your channel, just being able to show the product to camera and it be able to you know, track the product is such a good idea. For people who maybe aren't as clued up on how cameras work, this, this just makes it so easy. And the third feature is the background blur mode, which is perfect if you just love to have all of that bokeh in the background, but you don't have a particularly fast lens, something with a very um, low aperture. It has improved autofocus, including new AI features. It has the new X processor 5, amazingly quick, fast processing files, all of that really good. There is a very cool flash that comes with the XS20. It has four customizable dials, a flippy out screen, a small HDMI port, and it takes an MPW235 battery. So long lasting battery life is achievable in this camera, which also gives it a bigger grip, which is a feature um, I love about this. The ergonomics are really, really nice. So why am I selling it? Nicknamed the baby XH2S, this camera has been a phenomenal success in my eyes, but it comes to an end. And you're thinking, why? You've given me a fantastic list of reasons why it's such a good camera. Why would you sell it? Now I have some pretty big personal news of myself. I am taking a huge trip. My girlfriend and I have decided to take to the road and we are heading to Thailand and I am whittling down all my gear and unfortunately with all of the great knowledge I have about this camera it has not quite made the cut. Now the reason purely is is because I guess I'm a minimalist at heart and I already own the X-H2S and if it comes down to the two cameras, I'm going to only bring, I'm only bringing one and it's going to be the X-H2S. I possibly might be bringing my X-Pro3, but I'm not selling that, not just yet. And I don't know if I ever will. I love that camera. But this unfortunately had to go. I bought this as a backup camera. I bought this as my B unit. And while I'm here, it's it's I, I I'd keep it happily, but as I'm going away for an indefinite amount of time, I really do think that for this to maybe sit at home on my shelf gathering dust really doesn't help me or anyone else. And I think that selling it on to someone who could get a you know get more out of it than it just sitting over there is really quite you know like a good idea. So sadly, yeah, me and this XS20 are parting ways. 
it has been a love affair of six months, but I really do think that I, I can't bring it with me. I won't have the usage for it. I'll be using the XH2S probably on a daily basis. And it is my workhorse. With the weather being so hot over it in Thailand and Southeast Asia, this thing, as we know, does heat. Um, so I would probably have to buy a fan for it, which would mean more expenditure. When it comes down to this, I really just think that the XH2S pulls out all the stops and shines just so much more than this thing. But it's supposed to. It's supposed to. It's a two and a half grand camera. This is only £1,200. So yeah, of course, the XH2S. I love how that has seven customizable dials. I've got it just absolutely perfectly set up to my liking and yeah that unfortunately if i have to choose one it's it's my xh2s which is what i'm recording on now and why i keep pointing at the screen it so it is with a heavy heart that i am parting with the fuji xs20 but by no means is this maybe a full goodbye i do feel like if i come back home this could be something that i could purchase again this is perfect for small travel small trips if I am, you know, back and forth around Europe again, like I have been lately, then for photography, light travel, light video work, this, this is your boy. This is the one I still think and regard this as a really good camera, but I am a minimalist at heart, as I said, and I really think that this would be better in someone else's hands than mine or on my shelf. Farewell, my friend. And uh, I hope you find a happy and new owner. Anyway, go check out those audio tracks. I put a lot of hard work and effort into them. Let's make some waves and I will see you in the next one, maybe in Thailand. Thanks for watching.